Hello, my name is Sandra Fluck. I am a third year student at Georgetown University Law Center and a public interest scholarship student there. I was asked and invited by the Minority Council's office uh, to testify recently at the government oversight hearing in the House of Representatives. Unfortunately, Chairman Issa found that my testimony was not appropriate and that I was not an appropriate witness and therefore did not allow me to testify before that committee. Because as a result of that decision, the voices of the women I hoped to represent were silenced that day. And that's why I'm speaking out about their voices now and their stories. And I'd like to share just two of the stories of the many, many women who've contacted me since then to say what, what they would have shared if they'd been there to testify and how this regulation could impact their lives. So the first is a student at a Catholic university, and she emailed me, and we later spoke on the phone because she wanted me to know uh, that she needs contraception coverage in order to prevent seizures. She has a condition that's similar to epilepsy, and when she does not have the right hormonal balance in her body, she has very severe seizures multiple times a month. These can range from grand mal seizures, which are you know, quite severe and result in someone potentially falling to the ground and, and physically injuring themselves to partial seizures where she would um, look almost comatose. Uh, and she talked with me about the consequences of that and how important contraception is to her in helping to prevent those seizures which clearly interfere with her, her daily functioning and impact her health. Another uh, woman who contacted me is the, the wife of someone who is on an insurance plan through a Catholic institution and that insurance does not cover contraception because she very recently, very recently they had a baby and her doctor recommended that she go on contraception immediately after the child's birth because it's very medically dangerous for her as a mother or for any child that she might carry in the future if she were to become pregnant too quickly after birth. And this can lead to preterm labor and various other complications for both of their health. Unfortunately, the insurance that they had did not cover contraception because while this is medically required, it's still contraception for the purpose of preventing a pregnancy. And so they were not able to access insurance coverage for that purpose. And that story is really striking to me because this is a married woman in her 30s who's having children. All of us deserve the basic access to health care that we need, but in that case, that woman is doing everything that she's being asked to by conservative Catholic voices, and yet she still can't protect her health and the health of any potential future children. So I think that really just brings us back to the message that's being sent to women by the lack of contraception coverage, and that message is that women's health is unfortunately not a priority for everyone, and not, not in, important for everyone. And so those are some of the stories that I helped, hoped to share with members of Congress about why this regulation is so vitally important to women in America.